One of the ways some of your more tech savvy end users will circumvent your security policies is by using anonymizer websites. These are sites that basically just skip through your content filters and all of your organizational policies and basically proxy all the communications out to the internet and then back through to their machine. Let me show you how we're going to take care of that with SolarWinds Security Event Manager. So instead of actually looking at the dashboard events or nodes, I'm going to actually jump to groups first. So let's go to groups and then we're going to change it to user defined groups. Now one of the groups that we ship with the product is anonymizer websites. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. And you can see we've got uh, just under 130 right now of anonymizer websites. So the user defined group anonymizer websites really is just a list of string matches. So the beauty of that is you can add, you can delete from it. So if there are some legitimate business needs you need to use some of these, you can always take it off the list and if you discover new ones, you can add them to this list. So let's go ahead and just build a quick rule with this. So we'll create a rule from template. We've already built a template for anonymous access. So you can select anonymous web traffic. So if the URL is in that list of websites, it happens once in 30 seconds within a five minute window, we can do any number of things action wise, add users, block IPs, create accounts, kill processes, anything we really like. But for the sake of this demo, we're just gonna say that we're gonna create an incident. And then just click create. Some users may try to use these anonymous websites to circumvent your security policies, and this is just another way that SolarWinds Security Event Manager helps you maintain those policies in your organization.